Okay friends, in this video, we will look at the associative property or the associativity for rational numbers. While we'll also review the associativity for the other numbers that we have studied earlier. So let's get on to associativity property. Now, first of all, what do we mean by associativity? Well, so in this case, associativity simply means grouping of numbers, the order in which we group numbers. So let's say that we have three numbers to add. Like, let, let me take the condition that is given in the third column over here. You can see for addition, we say that we want to add three numbers, a plus b plus c. Now we could do it in two ways. That is, you first add a plus b and then add the result of this sum of these a plus b to c. Or what you could do is you could add b and c first and then add that result to a. So this is what we mean by associativity. That is, if we were to group numbers in different ways, what happens to a particular operation? Do we get the same result or not? Similarly, for subtraction, multiplication, and division. And that's what we are going to explore over here. Now, this is very intuitive from, you know, if from our discussion that we did earlier on the commutative, commutativity in which we were changing the order of the numbers so very very intuitive there now if we look at the second column over here which 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 gives you the commutativity property for addition the condition is a plus b first added into c or b plus c first added and then that result is added into a if both of these are equal when we either way we do it if these are equal then we say that that particular numbers that particular number system is commutative is associative under addition so we have already discussed that the natural numbers the whole numbers and integers do follow the associative property under the operation of addition which means this condition here that i have shown is going to be true for any three or any three natural numbers or whole numbers or integers and we will prove in the next video that the rational numbers are associative under the operations of addition as well okay when we look at subtraction it's pretty much very obvious that for all these four types of numbers that is natural numbers whole numbers integers and rational numbers the they, they do not follow the associative associativity property under the operation of subtraction that is a minus b minus c will not be equal to a minus when and b minus c that is when you change the order in which you do the subtraction it it will not be the same the, the groupings essentially that is what we mean over here and when we look for multiplication this is pretty straightforward because this in uh, when you try to look at associativity for multiplication it is just an extension of the commutative property it really doesn't matter you know the way in which you group two numbers to multiply first before multiplying with the third one so a multiplied by the product of b and c would be the same you'll get the same result if you were to multiply a by b first and then multiply that product with c so uh, for the the uh, the numbers that we have studied earlier that is the natural numbers whole numbers and integers all of them follow the associativity under the operation of multiplication and so does the rational number as we will see uh, in terms of division we will we have already looked at the earlier numbers the natural the whole and the integers not being not being associative for the division operation and so is the case with rational numbers so you can see that there is a clear trend over here a clear pattern the all the four numbers that is type uh, natural numbers whole numbers integers and rational numbers they do follow the associative property under the operations of addition and multiplication but they do not follow the associativity for subtraction and division what it means is that when we are dealing with subtraction and division we have to be careful with the way we group and with the way in which we order the different numbers that are given to us but that same thing doesn't matter when we are doing addition and multiplication so in the next video, we are going to look at proving the associativity 
for rational numbers under these four operations.